Hello, I really like to build robots. I have a PhD in robotics and I also like filming. So uh, nowadays, if I have some time, I'll build uh, different robots which are moving cameras. And now in this video, I'm going to uh, introduce and show you my uh, new uh, camera crane. It's still in development, but uh, I get to the point. So I uh, decided to document it and I want to show you how the robot works, what are the basic components and I also want to uh, say some words about how uh, the robot can be towed, how it can be operated. So the basic frame of the robot, this part was a Bosch Scara robot. You can see one in the background. This is how it looked originally. So what I just did, this axis I just flipped vertically and, and this way I can have a kind of lifting arm and I also have a rotating base. So this is the, the basic frame. The head came from another robot. It was a Mitsubishi uh, a robot. In a, I, I found it in a scrapyard in a very bad condition and, uh, and I only use the head of it so it can make the, the uh, pan and the tilt movement of the camera. So basically now I have four axes. Uh, one is the rotating base, the other is lifting the arm up and down, and also I have two axes here. One is a rotating axis which actually uh, bends uh, uh, the camera and also uh, tilt the camera and also we ha I have a pan axis which can rotate the camera like this. I changed all the motors and I'm using EAE robot motors and I also use an EAE robot controller. So uh, basically um, the control is entirely changed. I, I tried to, uh, to make this robot um, kind of easy to use. I, I already built a few camera cranes <laughs> and my problem was always like it was really difficult to operate them. I'm a kind of intuitive person and uh, and if I have to take too much time you know to dealing with the techniques uh, it takes too much time so I just say okay I just pick up a gimbal and whatever and and uh, choose another method. I have a really simple operator interface which can be used to teach the camera uh, and teach the path which I want to see on the film. Uh, the whole process starts uh, to home the system. Each joint has a bumper and when I set the system and send the system to home position um, it starts moving slowly with a limited torque and when it reaches the bumper the motor realizes that it drives the axis but the axis doesn't move. So it realizes it and it defines this point as a kind of home position but to really have a, a, an accurate home position uh, the motor starts rotating to the opposite direction and finds on the encoder the zero pulse and that's really the home position of the robot. Um, when we reach this point, of course, maybe it's not practical to, to you know, uh, always send the arm to the, to the right or to the left, to the very, very far point. It just goes back to the middle. So in this case, in this robot, the home position is when the arm is in uh, horizontal, also the head is in horizontal and the arm is in the middle. So something like this. So the whole process starts with the homing and uh, since all the axes are going to home position and then moving back to a defined position, if I set the path today and I want to film the same thing tomorrow and uh, I switch off the robot, next day it can go to the same points and it can go to the same, it can, can run on the same path very accurately because every time the robot starts it goes to home and it defines its base points. Uh, the next thing is to teach uh, the path which, are, which I want to run, which I want to use as uh, I'm filming. Um, Actually, if you have to, you know, deal with a computer and, you know, start typing and jogging and things, it, it makes the, the teaching a bit uh, uh, complicated. So I just figured out a very, very simple operator interface, uh, let's say, uh, which consists 
of a code switch and with this code switch I can set a number and three buttons only three buttons I use to teach uh, the robot and uh, and if I set the code switch uh, to a given number, let's say I set one, I want to set the first uh, position of the robot. If I set two or three, then I can choose which point I want to define. And I just simply move the robot arm by hand. Since the robot always calculates its position, even the servos are off. So if, I, if, if the servos are not energized, also the robot calculates its position. So simply I can just move the robot to the, to the desired position by hand, seeing what the camera can see. And it's really simple, you know, you, I don't have to joke different axes. I just move the, the arm as I want to, at what I want to see on the picture. And when I get uh, the given uh, position, which I want to later use, I just choose with the code switch the position number and I hit the top button which means teach and the robot memorizes that given position. Then I move the robot to another point by hand, set the camera on the, and check on the screen what I can see, what, what I want to see and if I found the next point I say OK. Choose on the code switch the second point, hit again teach and it memorizes the next point as well. So it's very simple this way. Uh, I don't even have to touch the computer. I just use this code switch and three buttons. The other two buttons I have a kind of emergency stop. If the arm starts moving uh, then it's nice to de-energize de all the servos. So I have a kind of emergency stop. And also if the arm is like this and I have a heavy camera on it, the camera really tries to uh, pull down the axis. So even if the servo is de-energized, you know, the camera starts moving like this. I don't want this. So this, with the second button, I can choose the energize the arm. So if I teach a point like this one and I hit the second button, then it energizes the servo and keeps this position. And if I just hit the emergency stop, it de-energizes all the, all the axis and I can start teaching again. When I have all the points, then I can just, uh, okay, now I need the computer. I can just uh, switch to kind of automatic mode and the robot starts uh, moving on that predefined path. Okay, so because I have these four axes, it's a kind of problem if uh, the, the tilt axis is not in vertical, like it's, it has an angle. And I start moving the, the, the arm to the left or the right from the center, the picture just uh, rotates, so I don't really see what I, you know, get used to on movies, like I have a horizontal U on something, but it's a kind of, uh, how should I say, um, kind of rolled, which is, you know, sometimes it's cool, but most of the time it is not so cool, so it would be nice to, you know, have the traditional U. So I have an option, if I choose on the panel uh, the zero as a code and I hit the teach button, the teach button in this case have a different uh, function, it always moves the head to the vertical position. So if I start uh, uh, moving the arm up and down, always the head follows it and the camera is in vertical. Okay, let's say in, 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 so the camera is in horizontal, but the head is in the vertical position. Also, really nice, cool feature, I think, that I can set uh, different head options. The head can be vertical, can be horizontal, and vertical, but done side. So, uh, depending on what you are shooting, uh, I think really it's really a nice feature of this structure that the head can be turned. And you don't have to, you know, uh, re really uh, start, you know, uh, rebuilding the mainframe. But just set one parameter and decide how the head should uh, orient it. And, um, and basically that's all. So uh, I choose the head position, uh, move the arm by hand to the position I want, uh, decide if I want to keep the head in a given position, horizontal, vertical, upside, downside, and then uh, choose the point I want to teach, hit the teach button, 
and then the given position is memorized. And later on, I just go to automatic mode, choose the speed of the arm, choose the acceleration, the acceleration, and then uh, switch automatic mode and uh, the arm starts moving. During the robot arm is moving, the controller always knows the given uh, coordinates and the coordinates are sent through a serial line to a computer so uh, in with, time with timestamps I record uh, the actual uh, arm position and later on this data can be used for uh, VFX softwares you know to model the camera movement and if I use a, a, a green screen and, uh, and video something or, or film something and later on I, have, I want to use a virtual background I can use this, uh, this uh, data for uh, modeling the camera movement and have the same camera movement in the 3D software as the real camera actually moved. So um, this is all. I also plan to, I'm not ready with this, but I also plan to, to make a custom uh, operator interface which uh, I can use to switch to automatic mode set the speed and the and the all the parameters the head position and so on so at the moment now I'm using a computer and uh, and the robot program has to be changed to change these parameters but uh, later on is the next step of the development I want to make a, a more user-friendly interface uh, for controlling the robot so thank you for your attention I hope you enjoyed this little presentation if you have any thoughts or any questions about what you've heard please let me know maybe it, it will help me to improve my system and if i can help you just uh, write me and we can talk about this topic uh, further thank you for your attention goodbye